So what I decided to do is rebuild my um, battery pack for my surveying instrument. It's a um, BDC-18. It's for a Sakisha, Sakia instrument. Um, and these originally are 18 milliamp hours um, 800 milliamp hours uh, little batteries and I found some that are a thousand milliamp hours that I'm going to replace them with they're slightly smaller but they should work They'd give me a little bit room, more room in the case and then I'll have to replace the thermistor because um, these have a different temperature rating so I have a new temp thermistor for them and so I've laid out my configuration of how it is. I also still have the battery pack somewhat intact so I can follow that. It's pretty simple. The hardest part is I gotta make sure that these connectors down in here are um, still usable. There's little pins that are made into the plastic um, of the battery where it comes through to the back. This is where the charger it attaches. And this is the pin for the uh, thermistor where it cuts off the flow if the heat gets too much. So I'm going to get busy putting this battery pack together and then I'll uh, come back and show you what it looks like. So what this is, is uh, this original battery pack was a Sanyo uh, nickel cadmium pack. And so what I'm first going to do is go through and set these in the right orientation temporarily and get the solder tabs lined up so I can solder them easily or uh, my, um, my little I have a thing for strapping batteries together for soldering, but it doesn't fit this configuration right. So I'm going to just do it this way, and then I'll remove the masking tape and put um, regular um, captain tape on there once I get them in the right position. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone and just grouped these in the pairs, and um, without trying to solder the whole thing together, I'm going to just do two at a time these ends here, this end here, and then I'll untape them and join them together and add the other ends. And then finally I'll add the last um, one onto the end here. That way I don't have to try and line, get them all lined up the little. Uh, I ordered these with um, tabs that have already been welded on so I don't have to solder them. So um, I don't want to have to try and get those all lined up again. So if I do them this way, it's easier to stack them. Anyway, I'm going to solder these and then I'll move on to joining each one. So this is the way I've set these up with positive, negative, positive, negative. And I got up my big old giant soldering iron and cleaned it up because it'll put out a lot of heat and got 60 40 solder and then I'm just going to solder these together and then I'm going to take the masking tape off and then um, I'll join these two packs together just makes it easier for me to line them up that way my uh, battery holder that I have for doing packs doesn't fit just single cell lines that way okay so these seem to have gotten a pretty good um, solder joint there um, that's one reason for having um, tabs, buying them with tabs already welded on, then all you have to do is just solder the across the tab. So now I'll go ahead to stack these two together and solder their tab. Okay, so now we've got these joined together as a group, and um, now let me turn off this extractor thing you know. okay so now we got these joined together as a group and now I'll just get the 
last remaining battery and um, I'm going to join it join it in to the other side over here that's why another good thing about these um, another good thing about having the sorry about that non-focus the other good thing about having these tabs is you can keep the little plastic things on there keep from shorting yourself out while you're doing this okay so now this last joint is soldered right here so um, I'll have to now see about mounting it in the battery space here I gotta put the um, thermistor on to attach the thermistor and I'm going to wrap it in some Kapton tape and then I'm also going to heat shrink it so it has a um, a wrapper similar to what it had originally out the when I broke it apart okay so first I want to check out these um, in this other battery pack here it's hard to see but I want to check out these wire connections where they go down to those charging points and what I'm going to do now is take some 91% um, alcohol and just go along where um, I've soldered these and wiped the solder flux off and now what I'm going to do is take a very small piece of um, tape insulating tape and stick it between this point right here and the battery on each of these because um, I don't want it to short against this battery here ever okay now before I go any further I just want to check the voltage on this battery pack to make sure it's correct okay there so 6.25 which is what I would expect it to be. Okay, so now I'm going to remove my temporary masking tape and put Captain tape just along these edges. I got to leave room for the thermos thermistor on one of these ends. Okay, so the new thermistor I'm going to place right here. Um, this is where the old one was placed. And one side goes to the negative, the other side goes to this uh, white wire, which goes to this plate right here inside. And then that makes contact here on this. Um, this is just, there's nothing in here. It's just a um, box for holding the battery, basically. And then there's a cable that goes to the actual charge unit. So I'm thinking that this thermistor, when it, um, if it ever overheats, it'll cut this, and then something inside that charger will um, sense that and turn the charging off. Uh, this is these two points here, are just positive and negative. So I've wrapped the other side of the battery in Captain tape, and now I'm gonna put a piece across here to secure this, uh, the upper part. And then I'll attach the thermistor to the negative ground and to the white wire. Um, I have to also resolder the negative wire which came off this terminal inside, so I gotta do that also.